This is a redo because my first voiceover was pretty bad and just wanted to redo it because you know how things stay on social media forever. So yeah, this is just to protect my colleague because I had choke mistakes in the first one. My journey so far on YouTube has been like six months in and I have Gmail problems. First, my Gmail is secure. It's safe, okay? I even went add my house telephone number to secure my account even further. And I add additional information. The problem is, which I do not understand, is why Gmail insists on sending me Google prompts instead of verification codes. I didn't adjust any settings. This is beyond my knowledge to fix. I had two choices when I found out. Yeah, I can scratch everything, start fresh, make a new Gmail account. But I wasn't going to do that because it took me this long like it's six months in, yeah, and it took me this long to accumulate 180 awesome people who decided to subscribe to my channel, which, by the way, thank you so much. You guys are very kind to do this. Thank you. I did, however, slow down in my edits a lot because of the Gmail problem. Kind of went and get to me just a little bit, yeah, but I'm going to move forward and, you know, try to continue making my edits. Another reason why I slow down a lot is finding and adjusting other people's audios is a huge challenge for me. And the process of uploading to YouTube to check if the audio is good to go is time consuming in itself. Storytelling. I will sometimes change the entire scene to be uh, totally different from the original, okay? Because we all have to do that. That's how it goes, yeah? And sometimes it'll be a whole new story. But most of the times, I just share what I loved about the scene, like the action parts. So it's a revamped version of the original scene just to get past the system. So yeah, it, you know. That's how we're going to play them out. Thumbnails. I have this thing about collages and comic-looking thumbnails, which a lot of times, I think that's the reason why I'm not getting the initial click. I seem to be attracted to the comic style of making my thumbnails. Hopefully, I will improve more. Yeah, as time goes on, hopefully, I hope, yeah. Okay, shorts. Why I haven't been posting shorts so much on YouTube? I catch the same views if I post a regular video or I post a short form content. It's always like uh, 6 to 20 views, a low end. Yeah, high end is like 100 to 1K views. I'm not scratching shorts. I still gonna make shorts. Don't worry about that. For real, I'm gonna make shorts. So my journey on YouTube so far has been awesome. I have no complaints because from day one, I said this and I'm going to stick by this. I can post. As long as I can post, I'm good to go. Coming from TikTok where two of my accounts got banned for whatever vindictive reason it got banned, yeah, is, you know, on them, not on me. I strongly feel still yet that YouTube is luck. It's luck. It's luck that, you know, you catch the correct audience that like your video enough to either replay it or push it out more. That's what I think. I really think it's luck. And my personal observation of YouTube and how the algorithm pushes out videos is really fair. It's like if there's 20 edits on the same action sequences, yeah? Like, uh, take, the, uh, take the new show coming up, yeah? Shogun, yeah? If you get 20 edits on them, every edit going to be seen. By somebody's eyes and that's what i like about uh youtube they're not going to suppress the view for one for push out the other that's not how it rolls because i have experience where i even got 100 views on the same action scenes that already went viral multiple times i got the view too as well even though it was the low end i still got the view and i was very happy to receive that okay about this monetization with recycling content I'm not sure how that works and I'm not going to go into detail about what I've been watching because I don't want to copy what other people say. What I found out is if you use a lot of pila words in your edits, in your videos, as you speak, you use a lot of um, vulgar language and you use a lot of violence or, you know, strong aggression in your edits, you will not be able to monetize. That's what I heard from some top accounts on YouTube. At first, I was thinking about, yeah, bro, I'm going to get monetized. I'm going to get money. I'm going to get some side money. Oh, I'm going to be good. I can go eat out and take the grandkids out and stuff like that. But then as I watched other creators making awesome content using After Effects and the latest systems or whatever it's called. I don't know. I'm not a technology guru, yeah. My hopes did die. It just died. It's dead. Make. Make die dead. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> 
But then we go back to minor because it goes back to what I was telling you. Uh, now I'm doing it because it keeps my, you know, I'll call it busy. Yeah. This might be too much information, but I'm going to just boss them out anyway. Because I'm at home because of my medical condition. I might as well make the best of my situation and keep myself occupied. And this is why I have the time to make these edits. Again, if you like know how I look like, go scroll on my TikTok or go scroll down further. You're going to see how I look like. That's how I look like. But that is with filter. I am very honest. I say I use filter to hide all my wrinkles. Please remember, I am 54 years old. But just because I'm on the older end does not mean that I am not keeping up with the current end, okay? So I'm still into everything that is current right now. I also noticed that everything is visual and maybe that's the reason why my account is not doing so well too. I'm not, I'm, okay, wait, I'm not expecting to blow up. I never did. I said from day one, like I don't expect to shine. I just hoping for some attention, okay? Little attention. You know, to keep me motivated to continue making my edits because I don't, nobody likes it on zero views, you know what I mean? That just sucks, period, you know? But I'm guessing that that's why because, you know, I'm not showing my face yet. I don't have the funds right now to pay for the app that I use to pay for the filter to make my video. So that's why I'm just vo doing a voiceover instead. How I look in real life? I look, I don't know. I look like I'm from Kali. That's all I'm going to say. You see me, you see Kali. This is not a diss on Kali. This is just where I'm just telling you, like, I'm nothing to look at. Okay, I always say this, yeah, from day one. But speaking of living in Kalihi, yeah, I'm going to go into some detail where it's like I have experienced a lot of challenges living in the hood where I had to embrace a lot of suck. So making these edits also keep me occupied. I go, again, it goes back to keeps me occupied to where I don't have to deal with real life shit. Like, screw it. I'm going to give my attention to my edits instead of dealing with that shit right now. Also, my bad about not sharing more of my ohana. Um, we're just doing a daily grind right now. The kids are working, my adult children are working, and the grandkids are in school and sports. So um, there's not really anything. We're not doing anything, you know, exciting or extravagant, you know. So my bad. And when I say ohana moments, I'm talking about all the free activities around Oahu, yeah? I'm not talking about like, you know how they show graduation parties and they, oh, the big families come up. It's nothing. I don't have anything extravagant like that to share with you. I'm sorry. My ohana is tiny. Very small. And my mo'opuna do not want me sharing them. The older ones do not want me sharing them on social media because they have their own social media and they're doing well. So I'm talking about parades, beach, uh, fr anything free activities. That's what I'll be showing you moments of, yeah? Like how I show you guys the parade, the Kali parade. I will show you um, Honolulu Hale parade so far. I will show you. And I'm going to be doing that every year. Every year I'm going to post the same thing because that's what we do, you know? Our family live within our means, okay? So that's how I share. I share within my means. Okay, this is like an eight minute video already. I just wanted to share what's going on in my YouTube account and how I feel about YouTube and share a little bit more about me personally with you guys and tell you one more time, thank you so much yeah, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys are very, very, very kind and sweet people. Mahalo so much. Thank you.